Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jacket Alliance 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Mission Impossible solo um, deadly weapon, leather weapon, um, Iron Man plus uh, exquisite timing run. I'm trying to beat the game in just under 1st of May with one soldier and that soldier is Ivan pretty wounded but we only got 25 uh, legionnaires in front of us so it's a no problem for Ivan we're going to go up and well make that 30 instead of just 25 Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Tell you what, let's use armor penetration. I got the distinct feeling that we might need it. We have also packed armor penetration, NATO, also packed, but no armor penetration. But we got. Our G36 with armor penetrating rounds. What's happening with this guy? Is he sleeping? Okay, well, now he's sleeping for a long time. Bullet in the hat. Sweet dreams. Okay, do we have a big fat machine gun somewhere that we could take in order to just let them run into us? I know there's one over here. Three actually. Oh, there's one over there as well. All right, let's get a bit of a change of plans. We can hold this machine gun. It might be easier for us. Alright, there is no easy in and out this time because traveling will take time. But we very much have taken out two enemies. Okay, just double checking. For starters, reload. Um, armor piercing. Got a grenade throw uh, launcher if needed. Uh, what else do we need? We got armor penetration here. Hollow point in there. Longer range. Big armor penetration. No, I think we're okay. We're just, we're good. Let's refill our little medical there. And that's another sweet, sweet kill.
no one else there. Damn it. I know for a fact that there were like dozens of them over here. Can we somehow raise an alarm? Maybe from here and then we're sprinting back into the MG. That might be the play. Let's wait until we see another one of these guys. I saw a sniper very, very briefly. They are still patrolling. Snipers up there. I believe that uh, this worked. Okay, let's wait for the next guy patrolling alongside this route. I don't want to give up the MG nest. Come on, I don't, want to, I don't want to make the mistake of going too far. I know there were like dozens of enemies there. There's a retreat option here, but that would cost us hours, valuable hours, so that's not going to happen. can't believe that we're still doing it. Oh my god. Okay. Hmm. Listen, it's not going to be easy. At some point we will need to go in and start fighting them. And that's where it will become very, very problematic. the machine gun here but I'm not sure if I can lure them into that machine gun enemy force located locally I have killed so many of them individually well four that's not really so many it is four Soldiers, this is President Lafontaine. Well, well, the old rascal has quick hands. He may lose them later. In the meantime, Legion, we're under attack. Time to prove your worth. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. I was afraid that that might happen. 
So plenty of enemies are gathering. Well, take that. Everybody is severely injured. <laughs> and everybody is severely dead. Um, we got a level upgrade. I think we're going for frog leaping. Take cover and let them come. All right, lots of enemies. I mean, we got 30 of them. And this was four kills plus five now. Okay, let's think about what would we want to do. Hmm. Move over here. I hide. And take cover. Let's hope that the AI is not cheating and is kind of knowing exactly where we are. I know the approximate last position, which is fine. And as long as one or two of them are coming, we're good. It becomes a problem if we're getting bum rushed. Those mercs are coming up fast. Legion troops, execute the prison. I repeat, President LaFontaine is to be executed immediately. Take away their hope and reclaim your country. Hmm. I still don't know where we are. Reload. Hunger down. So much for not knowing where we are. I think it's shotgun time. Many agents of enemy. Hmm. Зачем убивать гену с чебурашкой? Туда. Не просто так зовут Иван Грозный. Три дам. Very dead. Иван, make sure. Four down. Oh, the matrix there, okay. I used to beat it every day. You will pay for this. 
этот убит. Иду. Almost dead, okay. Пошел на точку. And go back, hunker down. We need a new weapon. That was a Rambo like uh, go in and very macho shotgun chain kill. Hiding, taking cover next turn, we're going to use our superior range. We are hiding. You can't just spot us out. We're in full cover and pretty far away. Should be good. I sneak kill now. This is shit plan. Major is taken care of. Alright, we do have good range on the G thirty six. and bandage the hiding does the trick they don't immediately see us Taking cover again. Oh, they are not stopping. But we do have a really decent position here. And thanks to the rage perk. We're killing them from cover. Now, take cover. Find a good position. Yes, for me. I sneak kill now. Okay. Now we're reloading, take cover, wait. We're at full health, take cover, wait.
Got the back line is starting to charge in. What's interesting? The G36 was such a good investment. Did we do it? F and foul, thank you. Cash in, thank you. M14, thank you. Another F and foul. Grenade launcher was good. Um, I like the M24, uh, but I think the Winchester is almost as good and in a much better condition. 40% is slightly off putting. The F and Fall, however, could be a good option. Let's scrap that and take this with us. And. All right. Let's see what else we got. We got this. And we got that, and a bit of that, and M16A2. The G36 is just as good, but higher damage. down my weapon you can shoot okay let's deal with the major great job I think go on good don't even want to deal with him he got a ooh, nice little AK here what is he rocking? Heavy stock, yep. Additional aim level. We could uh, switch that maybe to a thermal scope or to a quick prism scope. Got some red dots. Uh, yeah, good quite a good weapon Really good damage On par with the G36 Another G36, but thank you, we already got one. Very cool. The AK isn't bad, but I think the G, uh, G36 is actually even a little bit better for our particular setup. And the reason why I think it is better is because it takes less action points overall. We're already doing a lot of damage. We killed every single one. Uh, of them with one shot so having more shots and more damage is not necessary the lower uh, action point costs however is very good my father just called me but I'm getting good time to move back Unfortunately, we're tired. 
Oh, let's sit that out. Don't want tiredness. That prevents us from uh, free movement. And we even got a wound treated for free. That's not bad. Um, we could further upgrade that weapon and we should. There's no reason not to. Good. Now we have two other big fights ahead of us. By the way, before we continue, let's do that and reload Breacher. Uh, let's hope that our shotgun is not starting to jam. Enemy force located locally. I heard. One or two individuals here. Let me shortly modify the weapon. Okay, so we modified the AK-74. I went with a quick scope uh, this time. Extended magazine, uh, so although it costs 6 AP, this bad boy will now uh, shoot twice around with uh, both of uh, the times fully zoomed in, thanks to the quick scope. Uh, whilst we do have a thermal scope over here, uh, I run armor piercing on the G36 and hollow point on the AK74, which means the AK74 is really more for kind of uh, non armored uh, targets. I move. Good. Even just needs to sneak by, and we're good. I Agents of enemy. I sneak. Thanks to our sneaking perk, we should be good to move uh, past every single one of them. And then it's just a matter of moving and moving and moving. Funnily enough, one of the weakest enemies, the hyenas, are one of uh, the most annoying ones because they often come in uh, in uh, tribes, in flocks, in pairs, and. And that is something that we can't really deal with very well. We haven't specced into kind of an Overwatch build. Yes, it works, but even it's much, much better in simply killing stuff. I don't want to fight against the army squad, not at all, which means this is another sneak by and ignore most of the other stuff thing because these guys are really tough and uh, we're anyways going to fight them soon but i don't need an extra portion of their love I can do very much without continuously fighting against highly armored enemies.
Travel to D17. Yep, that's where we want to go. Already got armor piercing going, okay. Every little bit of experience is good. This equipment older than Igor. Tolku Nol. Fortune favors the bold. Sometimes we got a bit of armor back. Ivan says thank you, and we're good. Okay, apparently that doesn't work in the setup. Best soldiers fight in two tasks. Same time. Без вопросов. Are you kidding me? Mechanical required 50. Okay. Yeah, well, never mind. Good, how many enemies are we fighting against? 11. Well, great. Well, we're not going to get out of that. We will actually need to fight against the enemies. Hmm. Awesome. All right, so yes, I sneak kill now. Trooper hurt someone in pain. How could a trooper hear someone in pain if that guy immediately got shot in the face? I find that highly unlikely. Are we hidden again? No, we're not. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. No, we're not. Yeah, we're slowed. What's the problem? Another recon unit comes up. Headshot. Only grazing, unfortunately. Good, we're healing up. got the distinct feeling that we are going to lose our armor once again. Yeah, time to weapon switch. Okay. 
Okay, and our G36, as always, is helping us through this dark, dark time. Flag lagging is almost done. Well, I remember that these guys drop a lot of uh, good armor, so maybe it's actually worth killing them. and heal. The G36 is so good. Such an awesome weapon. Taking cover, we're still hidden. And thanks to frog leaping, we are always having enough free movement. I sneak kill now. Yes, Just trying to figure out where that last guy is. Reload hollow point, thank you. Must be careful. Tut Mnoga Vragov. Yeah, our new gained armor starting to fall apart again. Good, I think there are still one or two enemies left. Too bad their armor is always so broken. Armor penetration, how? Reload, match, hollow point, no, can't. Reload, armor piercing. More hollow point, but that's unfortunately not what we needed. Can't do that. I wish we could. And Ivan already got a lot of uh, mechanical. I mean, look at that. He got 
almost doubled his mechanical in this very short run. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Hmm. Sixteen hours. Oh. I don't think we have three days, but that would be perfect. Ivan finally has enough uh, to repair. <laughs> How long would that take? 18 hours. Uh, we need to rest anyways. Might as well heal one wound and get a little bit of bonus AP. There you go, now he's motivated. And this will only take 10 hours. And from here we can di pretty directly go into the fortress. They know where we are? Apparently so. Alright, taking cover. Let them fight against the crocodiles. Which I know are around here as well. Did they really just kill a crocodile? No way. Wow, they are, as always, traversing half of the battlefield. There we go. Crocodiles are fighting back. This guy loses his head. Good. Slowing down the crocodile is not a bad idea. So we don't want them to quickly move to us. Should have reloaded potentially. Oh, 
Very dead. Ivan makes sure. Пошел на точку. Okay, with one person, this is actually a bit more scary. Not sure why I'm even taking cover. I think I'm better off on uh, the open. Uh, Last level up. Not seeing that we're going to increase strength a lot. Dead eye. Or lightning reflexes. Or grit. I think we'll just go with grit. Come under fire isn't bad either, but since we're sneaking. This actually will help us. Yes, more crit would be nice. And yes, more stealth kills wouldn't be bad either. But I actually think that the grit is the right way to go here. Good, and here we can see why it is so good. We almost doubled our hit points. So many enemies. I wonder if we're better off just rushing through. is a problem. But luckily one that we can take care of. Are we done, guys? Come on. What a massive slaughter fest. Don't even want to deal with these guys. Okay, just in case we ever need more uh, more money, we're very much covered.
Uh, no, thank you. Chips are nice, but don't need it. And let's go underground. I hide. Okay. Hmm. Well. Reload hollow point. They are not armored. I sneak. Oh, 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 way too many. Let's hide and see what these guys are doing. it on They need to go somewhere. They can't just disappear. I know there was another crocodile. I'm seeing full auto, someone, someone is fighting. Frog leaping is really good. <laughs> the hyenas are definitely a bit of an alarm here. A lot of disturbance. Yeah, they are of course very well armored. down and two down nice a 12 really good weapon not good enough condition and we don't have the time to repair everything look at that we're getting new armor I will actually put you in the backpack and I should have put the other one in the backpack as well because that means we do have spare armor if needed. Uh oh, that was almost run ending. Ah. <sighs> 
landmines. Of course. I did not have that on the radar. Not at all. Alarm raised. Uh, okay, well, not good. I sneak. Hmm. We're taking armor piercing. I've never raised that alarm. Now I'm a bit scared. Okay, how do we deal with uh, four guys? Use armor penetrating rounds. I think I need them later. Hmm. Good question. We only have 39 shots, so that's 13 kills, 13 bursts. We have no, well, we do have medium armor penetration. Reload standard. Reload. Yeah. Could try that. But that will give us grit and we're still hidden. Oh yeah, they are. They are not wasting time at all. Nice. Oh yeah, okay, the AK definitely performs well. Ooh, and we got a machete. And a nice little Kevlar armor. Alright. Now we're talking. This equipment older than Igor. Tolku Nol. Kakat Kamandira. 
Igor, please. I can't use a negative Nancy now. We're so close to the camp. No point in being so negative. Good, we raised the alarm. Killed everyone. It's a good start. Even got a melee weapon. Damn it, I haven't specced melee. Of course, once we are level 10... <laughs> once we're level 10, the game gives us a nice little machete. And there was even a grinding stone. I think there could have been a world where... Uh, we could have taken a few perks for yeah but that would have had needed to happen prior to shock assault uh well maybe not one two three now nah, i'm happy with the build it's okay good uh however that brings us to the end of today's episode uh Yvon says goodbye comrade as we are going into the night it's late here and uh, next time we're going to rejoin when for sure is hopefully biting the dust we are at 20th of april out of curiosity this takes us another day uh, so we do have time to maybe craft some more ammunition and maybe even moderately a drink and heal up that wouldn't be too bad how long does this take way too long that would be a distraction so now we're going over uh we're definitely going to uh, liberate the port don't really need to liberate uh, the mine and we have m armor now so we're fine plus i mean okay they captured all of our mines never mind uh, but we still have enough to hire even if he if he ever needed to be rehired um yeah we're we're just going over getting the first of all we're finishing this and we make a long way to to the port there that we can finally craft again and that's really landing in port ernie uh sneaking pretty much uh, through h4 and one more big fight so uh, it could work out uh 20th of april is not that bad not bad at all so we have some more time at our hand thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed uh, the episode uh, leave a comment and a like down below uh, i hope you like jagged alliance 3 content and see you soon bye bye